Good afternoon. I'm Shelley Fiant, Chairwoman of the Salish and Kootenai Tribes. And I'm Bill Barron, Lake County Commissioner Chair. So we just came to you um, today to <clears throat> remind you to stay vigilant during this holiday weekend. There's a lot of graduations coming up and um, while SKC and Two Eagle are virtual graduations, there's a lot of in-person graduations and people are going to be practicing social distancing, hopefully wearing their masks. Um, I know sometimes they're uncomfortable, but <clears throat> there's a reason for that, um, to not spread the virus. So I just wanted to remind everyone um, to, to stay vigilant, especially during the graduations. And I'd just like to echo that. It, you know, I, my heart goes out to all the graduates this year. Um, you go through 12 years of school and you're looking forward to this ceremony and it's not going to be anything like you planned. We really understand that that's difficult and it's a hard time. We just really appreciate that the schools that are having the ceremonies are are being vigilant and, they're, and they are doing plans to keep the social distancing and keep everybody safe. Last thing we would want is to have a problem that spread into some of these graduates and uh, cause them more grief down the road. So thank you very much for working hard and trying to do the right thing. And congratulations to all the graduates as well. So we're going into the Memorial Day weekend and um, <clears throat> I think we're getting some nice weather. So again, just remind everyone to um, practice that social distancing. I think we're still in the groups of 10 or less mode and um, just a reminder that tribal <coughs> recreation lands are open to non-tribal members with permits, and that is for day use only. Lake County has is, is followed those lines too from the perspective that we're, we, our parks are open, but they are only for daytime use, and you, you are to practice social distancing. Hopefully, going to be a nice weekend, and we know people are going to want to get out. So, uh, go out and enjoy yourselves. But uh, we're just going to stress a lot to keep the social distancing in mind. Yeah, and with the sunshine and all, um, it's a good chance to get some vitamin D, and um, which is good for your mental health. Um, being cooped up in the rain all week, I know it's kind of brought me my spirits down, but is much as you can, you know, get out, get some sunshine, get some exercise, maybe dig in the dirt. I've been doing some gardening and, and that always helps my, my mental health and my, my spirit as well. It's the, the weather can have an effect on you definitely. And uh, I've talked to several people that are, the humidity is giving them headaches and causing problems. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the, the warm weather is going to get here. It sounds like once it hits, it's going to be a, a long, hot, dry summer. So we better appreciate the rain while we can get it. Yeah. And along those same lines, Bill, you just reminded me that, um, you know, we've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings and a lot of computer time. And <clears throat> that can give people headaches as well. So if that's what's going on um, in your life and if you don't know what your headaches are about, it very well could be all that screen time. Uh, an issue the county's dealing with right now is our fair. There's a lot of pressure to have a fair. There's not total agreement amongst the commission right now on what will be done or should be done. We're having a meeting with the people from uh, Missoula, the college and the extension office to talk about some pros and cons and possibilities, um, but it, if, even if there is one, it will be a completely different fare than you've seen in the past. So I guess just wait to hear on that what's going to happen. And as you may or may not know, we did cancel the Arlie celebration and the st standing arrow pal this this season. So I know that's. Um, that's a really difficult thing because we look forward to that every summer, but <clears throat> we just don't want to bring large groups of people together just yet. Um, and along those same lines, I just wanted to report that next week, Tribal Council will be reviewing individual departments and programs, phased reopening plans. 
Uh, we promised to look at our shelter in place order at the end of May and next week is the end of May. So we'll be reviewing those and making an announcement soon. Time, time's really flying. The, the county, we're, we're more or less going along with the governor's guidelines on um, how to open up and come out of the shutdown and things like that. Right now, we have everybody coming in the front door of the courthouse that needs to come in to see the different offices. And we have six foot increments marked on the floor to watch and stay behind. We're really pushing the social distancing. We have two uh, deputies at the door to help give instruction and help people understand what should and should not be doing. Um, the planning department, they're right now they're taking appointments, uh, taking people in the office by appointment and that's actually working very well. I think it worked better than uh, just being open all the time. They're getting more done, more people are coming in. They're, and when the people come in, they know they have a time. So it's their time, the staff's ready for them. It's just going very smoothly. And uh, I can just see us as we come out of this, that there'll be functions that we do differently in the future that we're gonna be more efficient at. and. Uh, and we'll just, I think, make county government a little easier to deal with. So I just wanted to end with a little um, thing I saw on social media, and it says, not everything is canceled. Sunshine is not canceled. Spring is not canceled. Love is not canceled. Relationships are not canceled. Reading is not canceled. Naps are not canceled. Devotion is not canceled. Music is not canceled. Dancing is not canceled. Imagination is not canceled. Kindness is not canceled. Conversations are not canceled. And hope is not canceled. So I just wanted to um, end with that and just remind everyone to keep the faith. It, I saw that earlier also. I thought that was pretty neat, a, a positive way to look at things. One thing I wanted to touch on because they're so involved in this and they're basically kind of the lead is the health department and they're going to set up their own way of opening up that office and allowing the people in and it's going to be based on social distancing but with the welfare department in there and stuff and WIC and different things um, there's not room for everything and they're having distancing problems and something that you don't really think of until you have something like this but I mean like there's supposed to be guaranteed areas for mothers to breastfeed and stuff, and we don't even have that right now with the, the virus situation and social distancing. Uh, one thing we've done is we've talked to addiction services, uh, Western Montana Addiction Services is who we work with to provide those services for the county, and uh, we've asked them to relocate to another building so we can have the entire building for the health department and by July 1st, we're hoping that it'll be opened up enough they'll be able to provide the full services they need to uh, because it, it's amazing what all they're involved in from all the little things to all the big things with the, the virus issue and the pandemic. So um, it's just more changes we're making. And, and I just like to say, have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves, practice social distancing and we'll look forward to seeing you in another week. Okay, and masked up. <laughs>